All right, in this video, I want to talk about a pretty typical math problem that would involve finding the time it takes for a population to double, or maybe triple, or quadruple, or something like that. But in this case, we are having a population that doubles. And in fact, it doubles in size every 12 hours. So if there's 200 bacteria to begin with, how many will there be in two days? That's the question. Now, sometimes, for like a problem like this, this is actually a simple enough problem that if we just built a chart, we could find the answer quickly and easily. So if I built a chart, say for instance, and I've already done this previously to, to starting this video, I know that I start with 200 bacteria, but every 12 hours, so notice the increments go up in 12 hours, every 12 hours my population doubles. So I go from 200 to 400, 400 to 800, so not increasing by 200, but actually multiplying times 2, 800 to 1600, 1600 to 3200. Now why did I stop at 48 hours? Because 48 hours is the same thing as 2 days. So in this problem, I already know the answer is going to be 3200. So a chart might be simple for this, but maybe if they ask me, it's like, how many will there be in 2 months? Now, okay, we're, we're talking a different problem here. We don't want to build a chart that's that large. So let's try to come up with a formula. And the formula looks something like this. The amount of bacteria at any given time is related to the original amount, obviously, because if we have 2,000 bacteria to start with, that's going to affect that's going to affect what we end with, right? If we have a big population to start with. We're going to multiply that by the factor that we're growing by. Uh, I need a symbol to represent this. For, for this case, we're going to say 2 because of the doubling. That's why I chose the number 2 here. If I would have seen the word triple, I would have used the number 3. And I'm going to raise that to the t divided by, and in this case, 12. And the reason I'm choosing 12 is strictly because it doubles every 12 hours. Here's the basic formula that we're going to use to figure out the population. So, let's see if this actually gets us to 3,200. The amount at any given time is equal to the original amount. In this problem, it's 200. We're going to take 200 and multiply it times 2 to the t, which is 48 hours, divided by 12 hours for each doubling. Okay, let's see what this gets us then. A is equal to 200 times 2 to the, and then 48 divided by 12 is 4. The amount of bacteria is equal to 200 times 2 to the 4th power. Well, 2 to the 4th power turns out to be 16. And 200 times 16 is 3,200 bacteria. So that's how you do a typical problem. Once again, one more time before I quit, changes that we might make. If this says it triples every 12 hours, we would use a 3. If it says it quadruples every four hour, 12 hours, we would use a 4. If it says it doubled in size every 8 hours, we would use the number 8 here. If it said it doubled every 6 hours, we would say that. If it said it doubled every day, maybe I can use 1 day, and then my adjustment would be the time would be 2 instead of like 48, right? I could change as long as I'm consistent when I use hours and hours or days and days, I'm going to get the same value for this fraction in the end. And then we just go through and we, we figure out the, the equation. We've got to do one step at a time, right? Exponent first before we do anything else. 